Hello everyone welcome back to Shahi Comics, and Netflix unveils the trailer for Zack Snyder's Rebel Moon, a massive two-part Star Wars inspired space opera featuring a star-studded ensemble cast, and the Rebel Moon trailer reveals Zack Snyder's massive two-part scientific epic. The upcoming film is the director's first since 2021 Army of the Dead and his second collaboration with Netflix. Rebel Moon is a Star Wars inspired space opera centered around an enigmatic young woman named Cora Sophia Butella, who's tasked with saving the galaxy from the villainous Regent Balisarius. For Fee, the ensemble Rebel Moon cast also includes Charlie Hunnam, Mikhail Hussman, Jimin Hounsou, Beiduna, Ray Fisher, Cleopatra Coleman, Gina Malone, Ed Scrain, and Anthony Hopkins. And today, Netflix released the first official teaser trailer for Snyder's two-part scientific epic ahead of the Rebel Moon release date later this year. Part 1, Child of Fire releases December 22, 2023 on Netflix, followed by Part 2, The Scarjiver releasing just four months later on April 19, 2024, and though it's only billed as a teaser, the trailer is three minutes long and provides a full introduction to Snyder's scientific universe and all its requisite mythology. The story begins in a peaceful colony threatened by the tyrannical mother world and the army of the Imperium controlled by Regent Balisarius. Korra, a former member of the Imperium, becomes the colony's best hope for survival and assembles a small band of warriors from across the galaxy to make a stand against the mother world. And everything revealed by the Rebel Moon trailer. And Rebel Moon, which recounts a rebellion against an oppressive empire, was originally conceived by Snyder as a Star Wars movie. And this couldn't be more apparent from its premise and trailer, in three minutes of footage, the trailer includes just about every element of scientific imagery popularized by the Star Wars franchise from signature spaceships, a vast array of planets, alien species, exotic creatures, and talking robots. The trailer begins with voiceover from Anthony Hopkins' robot character Jimmy, an ancient mechanical knight, who recounts the story of a princess prophesied to end war. And Beiduna's nemesis? A cyborg swordmaster recruited by Korra, wields a weapon that looks exactly like a lightsaber, suggesting that Snyder's space opera may be a tad too derivative of Star Wars. Other allies recruited by Korra for her fight against the Mother World include the former Imperium General Titus, the mercenary starship pilot Kai, a farmer named Gunner, and a blacksmith with the ability to bond with animals named Tyrek. There's also a trio of warriors in Darien Bloodax, Milius, and the lethal spider Harmada. And the Rebel Moon villains are Regent Balisarius and his right-hand man Admiral Atticus Noble. With this wide range of heroes, villains, and worlds, Snyder clearly has hopes of turning Rebel Moon into a Star Wars-like franchise for Netflix. After the film was split into two parts, the director expressed interest in a third Rebel Moon movie and a TV show as well. And every good story needs a good storyteller to bring it to life. And while director Zack Snyder is ultimately fulfilling that role for the upcoming epic scientific adventure Rebel Moon, the film's spectacular trailer is given a boost thanks to the silvery tones of another voice guiding us through this new world. If the narrator sounds eerily familiar, you're probably right, as the voice belongs to none other than Sir Anthony Hopkins, who you've more than likely seen before. And the film follows Cora Sophia Butella, the former member of a corrupt government working to rally warriors from a peaceful colony against an oncoming tyrannical army, in it, Hopkins voices the robot Jimmy, a once proud fighting machine who served under the former king. Outside of a shot at the trailer's beginning, Jimmy primarily serves as a narrator at the start, middle, and end of the clip, he sets things in motion by regaling the story of a princess who brought peace to her war-torn world, more than likely foreshadowing Korra's journey throughout the film. His other two lines in the trailer a king is a man and a man can fail but a myth is indestructible and who among you is willing to die for what you believe, reflect the film's philosophical undertones while also hinting at his character's loyalty. And Rebel Moon has all the hallmarks of a Zack Snyder film. And as indebted as it may be to the works of filmmakers like Akira Kurosawa and George Lucas, it's clear that Rebel Moon is a Zack Snyder film through and through, in addition to its brief 300 homage. The film's first trailer bears all the hallmarks of Snyder's established style and artistic perspective, from its outsized action sequences to its frequent use of slow motion, Rebel Moon already looks, sounds, and feels like a fitting addition to Snyder's filmography. 
and the two-part movie will also continue what has become an unofficial tradition for the filmmaker, indeed, it has been confirmed that in addition to the shorter PG-13 cuts of the film that will debut in December and April, Netflix will also release a longer, R-rated director's cut of Rebel Moon, in an interview with Tujum. Snyder teased what fans can expect to see from the expanded cut, the director's cut is close to an hour of extra content, so I think it's a legitimate extended universe version, you really get to see a lot, it's just more painted in all the way, he revealed, the director's cut is a subtle and deep dive, which I have notoriously done throughout my career, and the filmmaker has made alternate versions of several of his previous movies, including Dawn of the Dead, Watchmen, Batman vs Superman, and Justice League. Now, fans can add Rebel Moon to the list of Snyder-directed movies that they'll not only get the chance to see once, but twice, whether or not they'll see more 300 homages like the one described above in one or both versions of Rebel Moon, however, remains a mystery for the time being. And we're in the end of the video now, and another awesome video I will meet you again, bye guys have a good day.